we have our first ever post to the whole inspector subreddit. Oh my God. Am I the asshole for leaving photographic evidence of my husband cheating somewhere his parents should not have looked? TLDR. My husband cheated with a man. I had pictures, his mom snooped, his parents are making his life difficult. Oh. I, F30, kicked my husband, 28, out of my house. It was my house prior to us getting married and it remains my house now. I knew when I married him that he was bisexual. I was okay with it as long as he understood that we were monogamous. I said that I would never agree to an open relationship and that if that was what he wanted, he needed to be with someone else. He agreed and said that I was the person he wanted to be with and that I was more than enough to satisfy him. He lied. I found out he was having an affair with a man. I went through his iPad and took all of the pictures for myself. When I confronted him, he became when I confronted him, he became physically aggressive. I was scared. He calmed down when I got Siri to call 911. He left. Anyway, I did not want him in my house again ever. When he wanted his things, I asked him to make a list and to send it to me. I found every single thing on the list. I asked him where to send the box. He said he would pick it up. I told him that I would not let him set foot in my house, that I would call the cops if he tried. He said he would send friends to get his stuff. I said I would leave his box of crap with the front desk at my work. He didn't want to make them drive into the city. We compromised and I agreed to give his parents a temporary code for my house. They are lovely people and I trusted them. I could see everything on my security system and I would know if he tried to get into my house. The deal was that they would use the code and get the box from the front entrance then close and lock the door. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Instead, it went difficult, difficult lemon fucked. <laughs> the fuck? I feel like I shouldn't be laughing reading this story. God damn it. I guess he didn't have everything on his list. He asked them to get something from my bedroom. Not the deal at all. I had my pictures of his infidelity in my room in my chest of drawers in an envelope. So to reiterate, to find those pictures, his mom had to go past our agreed limit into my house. She then had to enter my bedroom, open my chest of drawers, open an envelope, and look at what was inside. I felt violated watching the video. Then I giggled like a little kid. It was hilarious. I see them come into the house. They use the code and open the door. His dad comes in and grabs the box. He goes back to their vehicle with the box. His mom hesitates before walking into my house and going to my room. She goes to my chest and opens the top drawer where we kept a box full of jewelry. She sees an envelope with his name on it. She looks around, I'm not sure why. Then she looks at the contents. She screams. I assume since I have my feed on video only, then she stuffs the pictures back in, closes the drawer and goes running for the truck. My father-in-law comes to the door, locks it and leaves. I guess he never told his parents about his proclivities. To say that this has created a problem for him is to take it lightly. I get a call from him. He says I left the pictures out for his parents to find. I did not. I should have scattered them on top of the box his parents picked up, but that felt cruel and unnecessary. Like I said, I have always found them to be lovely people. I told him where the pictures were. He said that he forgot about a ring he left off the list and told his mom where it should be. I said I would have tossed it in the box if he told me. He said he forgot until they were on their way. He's upset that his parents now know he is a power bottom. He is not happy at their house and he is going to find somewhere else to stay. He said, I'm an asshole for causing this problem. I think there are other candidates for assholehood, him for cheating, him for getting his parents to go against our agreement, his mom for going against our agreement, his mom for snooping, his parents for homophobia. I didn't have to comment on the post that bi doesn't mean that they don't prefer monogamy outside of that assumption, not the asshole, right, right. 
photographic evidence of a hole inspection. Yeah. We need hard hitting. We need visceral. We need tear jerking. We need rage inducing realness. Prison. Gatorade. Onion rings. Now that's going to get us some goodness. I would just like to remind you that I searched onion rings. I would just, I would just like to remind you that we got to this post by searching onion rings. Am I the asshole for telling my mom she's selfish and my fiance deserves a better mother-in-law? My 37M fiance, 33F, had an emergency surgery years before we met that left her unable to conceive without IVF. What is happening right now? She told me this four or five dates in, so I knew early on. My fiance is seriously one of the best humans I've ever met, and we plan to try IVF, knowing it may or may not be successful. Since we got engaged, my parents have been endless with the grandbabies talk. My mom especially constantly talks about how she can't wait to be a grandmother, how, quote, spring and summer babies would be so nice, hint, hint, end quote. I didn't tell them about my fiance's infertility because frankly, her body is no one's damn business but hers. <laughs> Extremely rare Reddit husband W, what? Let's go? It bothers my fiance a lot. She cries pretty much every time this happens. She agreed to let me talk to them. So I went over to my parents yesterday and explained it. My mother instantly starts crying, said this is, quote, the worst news for a woman my age, end quote, and that she was devastated for me. My mom and I are very close. I'm the only child, but I still thought this was a huge overreaction. But then she made it much worse. Oh, it's worse? I thought I was joking when I said that onion rings would get us something ridiculous, and here we f***ing are. This story has, hang on, 3,600 upvotes. That's it! Backstory. I heavily abused drugs and alcohol for most of my teens and 20s. I was sober for five years, on year eight now, before I started dating again, and even though I always made it clear that I didn't expect my partner to also be sober, dating really sucked until I met my fiance. She not only supported me, but did it enthusiastically. She comes up with these crazy, okay delicious, mocktails every date night. I took care of all of my issues with lots of therapy before I met her, but it helps a lot to have someone so supportive. She constantly makes me want to be a better man. Anyway, mom suggested that I got engaged too quickly because I feel insecure about my sobriety. I don't. And you know, I love fiance very much, but have you considered breaking off the engagement and being with someone younger. Yeah, I lost my shit. I told her she was being selfish and that my fiance isn't a baby making machine and deserves a better mother-in-law. I said that if we are ever able to have kids with IVF, unless she changes her attitude, I don't want her in my kids' lives. My mom and I are really close and we've never really fought. So she took this really hard. Girl, you did this. Girl, you did this. You did this. It's your fault. My dad says I was out of line and that my mom is just grieving and didn't mean what she said and regrets it. Grieving? She was grieving? Shut the hell your mouth. Well, I get that. I don't think that's an excuse for what she said and I'm not going to encourage that behavior. I haven't told my fiance all the details because she would be absolutely devastated. My best friend is on my side. Another friend says that this is an everyone sucks situation because I overreacted. 
Get better friends? Get better friends. No. Grieving over her fantasy of being a worshipped grandmother. Yeah, right. Exactly. No. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm not saying I'm going to cut my mom out of my life, but she needs to apologize and change her attitude. So let me have it. Did I overreact? Am I the asshole? Edit. I see some comments about why I jumped to the infertility. I didn't. When this first started a while ago, I used to joke with my parents that they are basically asking how often my fiance and I have sex. I know, very mature. Hoping they would realize how awkward this is to even ask. It didn't work. So I was a lot more direct and told them that we'll have kids when we're ready. They need to let us make the decision. If she is pregnant, they will obviously be some of the first to know. It worked for a while until it started back up again. The day all this happened, when my fiance ordered onion rings, my mom said, oh, when I was pregnant with OP, I loved onion rings. Same with you? I told her to stop, but it made my fiance very, very upset. Not the first time she said something like that after we said to stop. We both agreed that maybe if they knew why this was so hurtful, it would stop. I did not pressure her. I made sure she was on board 100% before I talked to them. Like you go out of your way to search things like Sigma mail or cryptocurrency and AI art and shit like that. And it gets you some of the tamest bullshit. And then onion rings gets us this. I feel like we've never had a bad keyword from MK. MK, can you give me a keyword to search for our last post today? Monstera? It's a plant? Oh, oh. It is? Oh, those things, yeah! Am I the asshole for screaming at and banning my sister-in-law and niece from my home after they destroyed my house plants? Years ago, I got really into house plants and started to collect them. Over the years, I've had up to 70, but whittled my collection down to about 35, just the ones that I really love. My niece, Jenny, 14F, has developed an interest in plants and will come over and we will talk about them and she helps me with propagation and repotting. I had to go out of town for two weeks to take care of some stuff, so I asked sister-in-law and Jenny if they could plant sit for me. I told Jenny I would pay, but also give her a few cuttings as a trade-off. They agreed, and when they came over, I gave a tour and explained the care needed and also showed off a few prized plants. Sister-in-law, asked how much a few of them ran me and I did share. This didn't seem weird because the family knows and I've gotten some plants as gifts. Well, I returned from my trip and was horrified. They watered and gave the right amount of light, but they also decided to give a lot of my plants haircuts, big ones. My prized Cebu Blue Pothos mother plant was destroyed, the climbing one too. My Manjula Pothos had been done the same. My Golden that I trained up my stairwell, my string of pearls, hearts, and ruby necklace all destroyed. The worst of that was my pink Princess Philo had been reduced to two leaves. And my Albo Monstera is down to three. I don't even think they got nodes necessarily. These plants are expensive and prized. I basically broke down and when they came to meet me to give back my key, I screamed and screamed at them. Jenny started crying saying I said I would give her cuttings so she thought it was okay. Jenny is, yeah, 14. I screamed at her to go home and get what she stole from me and bring it back now because she knew I didn't mean she could destroy my fucking plants. Sister-in-law got between us and said, what's done is done. I said, no way, you're returning everything. Jenny said, mom, mom already sold most of them on Marketplace. 
I lost it and just screamed and screamed at them until Jenny was crying and her mom got in my face and told me I was having a tantrum over plants. I told her to get the fuck out of my house and don't ever come anywhere near me or my home again. I called my brother, sister-in-law's husband, and he was shocked and said that they told him I said it was all okay. He brought me the stuff she hadn't sold yet and apologized. I told him that I never ever want either of them in the same room as me ever again. They're horrible, awful, irredeemable people and that I hope they both burn in hell where they belong. He told me he gets that I'm upset, but that I'm taking it too far and that family means not holding grudges. No, fuck you actually. I know you brought the plants, but family means not holding grudges. You can eat your own asshole. I told him to leave and I cried for the rest of the day. I'm posting because I need to know if my edict is over the top and if I'm overreacting. So am I the asshole for telling them that they are no longer welcome in my home and not even wanting them in the same room? Not the asshole. This wasn't a misunderstanding. Your sister-in-law knew exactly what she was doing and make it a profit of it. I'm surprised your brother didn't realize something was amiss. Oh, number two, the niece has been in trouble for stealing before. Jenny has definitely tried to be sneaky with my plants before, cuttings going missing, for example, and her posting pictures of them on her Instagram, claiming they're hers, kid stuff, but I never thought she'd actually pull this stuff. From what my brother said, it was Jenny's idea to take some of the cuttings in the first place, and she picked the pink princess first, which I would not have given her any of, and she knows it. And then my sister-in-law said she wanted some too and helped Jenny cut up the plants. The thing is that I sat there teaching my niece how and when to propagate, taking cuttings from the right place, evening things out, etc. She knew. She knew how precious the pink princess was to me, how I took that Albo Monstera from a node with no leaves. On my mother Cebu, it looks like they just grabbed a fistful of it and cut through it with safety scissors. It's horrible. I was expecting like, oh man, they overwatered my one plant while I was on vacation. We got a crime scene, literally a crime scene. I might have to, I might have to go to the store and get all the stuff I need and nom down on some bukake. You know what I mean? I could take some bukake to the mouth right now for sure. 100%. I could, I could fuck up some bukake.